Ballardvale, the land of Leno. It's a little part of southern Andover. And it's yet another place where the trailhead to amazing conservation lands begins at the station parking lot. Right there. The Vale Reservation. Ballard Vale is kind of unique in that it's like the epicenter of a conservation parcel flower with little parcels radiating out from the center at nearly all points of the compass. And although it isn't directly on the Bay Circuit, it's certainly very close to it, both in proximity and spirit. And I've been looking forward to this for a while, especially after the round of confusing visits I've been having elsewhere lately. You will have to look awfully hard to find a place that puts as much effort into quality land preservation as good old Andover. the apex point of a little hairpin turn that the Shashin River takes in the Vale Reservation in Andover. The river's in pretty good shape. Turbidity it's okay. Who knows how much oxygen is in it? I've already noticed various rises. I don't know if it's trout or what. There's life in this. Across the river is a set of two other reservations. Pomp's Pond and Foster's Island. And I'll be going to those next. And right directly where I'm sitting, we have some beaver activity. They're chewing away on this elm tree, which is probably already hurting anyway. It's probably bitter they get sick of it. The trail continues down this way. You can see the last phases of Cardinal Lobelia with its little scarlet flags all along the stream side here. And the most jewel weed I've seen nearly anywhere. There's some scarlet Lobelia. You can see the blossoms are fading. This is so refreshing. Andover is probably unique in the degree of participation in the upkeep and improvement of conservation parcels by its resident citizenry. This particular track belongs to the Andover Village Improvement Society, which really began in Victorian times, the 1890s, and has persisted through all. This is probably as far as I'm gonna 
go into Vale Reservation for today. I wanted to just get to this point. And now I'm going to work my way back to the station and cross the river. See a little bit of sand down there. It's a different, it's siltier, a different kind of material than I've been running to down on the south shore. And of course, purple loose strife is everywhere. I often wonder about the efforts to turn it back. I have a feeling it's doomed. Here's a typically robust stand of jewel weed. It's bright flowers. And the trail is here but masked by the summer's growth. Over there you can see it's probably the wetlands around Pomp's Pond. And if I were more adventurous than the 57-year-old aging slob that I am, if it was the 30 or maybe even 40-something me, I'd scramble deftly across this thing. But I don't wanna. It is interesting, it must have fallen sort of recently, maybe another victim of Irene. And there, with the sun on the stream, you get a good sense of its relative clarity. It's got a nice little bank structure. All in all, this place very refreshing.